How many of you all watched that um, recorded session from last night? Vanessa, what's up? Mike, what trade are you talking about? One, two, uh, one, two, five. What's up? First time here. Yo, Elmano, what's good? It is you all day right here, Elmano. So I'm on, I mean, it's garlic powder. Um, but yeah. Jonathan, what's up? So we're in that sell on AD uh, JPY right now. Um, price pushed up and hit our order uh, with that news that just happened. So you might be in slight profit, but um, our targets are going to be from um, our target one is going to, be, oh, what happened? Let me hide all of that again. All right, so our target one is going to be at, and it popped up again. Oh, well, I'll just leave it up there. So our target one is going to be Target one is going to be at um, 179,150. Target one is 179,150 179, on AUD JPY. We're in the cell. So, you all that just get on the call, we got into the trade last night and it just activated a couple of minutes ago with news that just hit on AUD USD. I'm sorry, AUD JPY. And target two is going to be 78. 750. 78750 is target target uh two. So those are the two targets right now. We enter that um order. Um, right here at this D completion price push up with that news event that just happened. And let's see if we can stay in profit. Uh, right now we are in profit. So let's see if we can get that push down to this level right here. Um, at 79.150 for target one. And then target two is 78750 So now what we're going to do is um, be patient and wait for this right here to play out. Um, basically, that's all we can do. We're in a trade and we just have to wait. So um, I, I feel like, you know, real comfortable with this trade. I feel like this is a high probability trade set up as well because also what we have is this white trend line right here, which is our daily level of resistance. When you have a harmonic pattern that plays into a strong level of support and resistance. Um, the chances of that is very, very, it, it makes it more uh, valuable. A uh, high probability, high probability trade setup um, would be smart to sell now. Yeah, sell it now. Yeah. Um, this is our entry point right here and we, and price is currently right there. So yeah, sell it now. And we got target one, uh, which is right here. And then target two should be down here. But um, also looking at this right here, I see we have a crab pattern um, within this Gartley. We have a bearish crab pattern within this bearish um, Gartley pattern. The price pushed to the downside. It gave us this deep retracement right here. And this deep retracement is like an 88.6 level with this 61.6 retracement. So this will be our X, A, B, C. And then at 1618 is the completion of that um, 
that crab pattern. And that right there is our D. So if I erase this real quick and go ahead on and grab my fib and grab my fib extension, take it from um from here, which will, let me let me mark this up again so y'all can see from X, A, B, C, D should complete up there. So if I grab my Fibonacci extension tool, let's see what we get from X to A. I'm sorry, I did it backwards. Yeah, I get confused sometimes. From A to X, A to X, all the way back down to A. Let's see what we get. You can see that 1618 level lines right up with that uh, with that daily trend line, okay? And price could, you know, push up to that level as well for a um, crab pattern, but we are currently, um, where did I have that? I'll just leave it right there. And this is what that crab pattern would look like within this um, bearish harmonic Gartley pattern. It'll be from X to A, A to B, B to C. C completes up here at the D level. So that right there is, you know, just a little bit more confirmation. Um, so technically this right here would be a, a nice zone to enter out of. This would be a nice little zone to enter out of that trade. So now we just have to wait and, you know, let the market play out. You know, we just be patient right now at, up at this point. But um, how many of you all seen my videos, uh, watched the recorded last night from the recorded session last night? How many of you all watched that and, and been studying it? Also, was it helpful? You, okay, cool. Ray, I was told that you teach how to trade harmonics. Um, is there a day you started a new series so I can go back? Um, watch last night's recorded session. If you go right here to um, my IML TV and then come here, this link right here, here is tonight's recorded session. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Click that link, it'll take you directly to um, last night's session and just start there. TP1 is at what point? Uh, TP1 is at uh, 78150. I think that's what I said. 79150. Hold on. Was it 78 or 79? Yeah, it, okay. It was at 79150. That's where TP1 is. So we're in a cell right now on this, and um, we just gotta be patient and just let it play out. You're welcome. Other than last night's session, is there a time you started a new course for new students? Um, no, nah, not really. So yeah, just definitely watch last night's session. Um, focus on that specific harmonic pattern that I went over last night, and you should be good to go. And um, yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna do a basic um, video to help you guys mark up support resistance levels and. Um, be able to help you identify key levels with trading harmonic patterns because that's honestly like the foundation of trading and identifying harmonic patterns.
and just simple uh, support and resistance. Another thing that's going to help you guys out also is to um, back test, you know, sounding like me, right? In terms of highest probability, do you want your D line to close, to be close to the daily one hour, 15 minutes before? Um, nah, it's in this zone right here. If it, if it enters that zone, then I execute. I don't look for a specific point in the mark in the market to like necessarily um, enter the trade. Um, I, I basically just enter uh, at the completion. Wherever it completes, that's why I enter. So, what you guys should do? Um, definitely watch that video from last night. Uh, yeah, I'm in a cell on ABJPY. Yeah, so definitely watch that video from last night. Uh, what I see a lot of people doing also, uh, well, what's going to help you out is not trying to identify the patterns in the, like, in the present time. Don't do that. Don't try to identify the patterns like, like in present time. What you guys want to do is go back in and back test. So go back as far as you can on your chart and just start back testing um, these different patterns to, to identify the moves, okay? That's what you all should be focusing on rather than trying to, um, you know, find patterns like within, rather than trying to find patterns in like the present time. But I think y'all gonna pretty much drive yourself crazy doing that. So go back in time and just start practicing how to back test the, the patterns in present time. I'm sorry, in um in the history. Yeah, just go back and back test that way rather than trying to you know focus on what's happening right now in the markets. Because if you like I say, um because the main thing you want to do is train your eye to see the pattern. Okay? Don't, like I say, yeah, you guys want to make money, but you're not going to make money until you train your eye to see the pattern. And the only way you're going to do that is not necessarily at current market price. Go back in history and just start back testing. Start back testing these moves. Okay, that's what you want to do. Go back in history and start back testing because that's what's going to really help you guys identify it. Like this right here might be a, a pattern right here. Just push to the downside, pull back, continuation, completion. I think it might have fell just a little bit short, but let's see. So looking at that move, this move right here, again, we got that, um, that push to the downside, price created a level of support. It pulled back. Let's see what this pullback level gives us. So I'm just about to, I'm going to measure out this move right here, this level and that level to see what this level right here gives me, okay? I'm teaching the cipher pattern again. I'm just going over it briefly. Uh, I, I kind of just want to focus on one pattern with you all so that you all can um, not be all over the place as well. So price gave me that 38.2 retracement right here. Okay, 38.2. So now I can go ahead on the mark of my charts. I'm looking at my notes, okay? I know I'm looking for a, um, a structure that looks something like this if it's bearish, okay? Something like that. This is what we have right here, like a lightning bolt, okay? Whatever you got to do to remember, that's exactly what this looks like, right? The same exact thing, right? Okay, cool. So now I have my, my X leg, my A point, my B point. So it's kind of like driving, okay? Um, 
you know, when you, <laughs> I know, um, like, let me see how I can put this. <laughs> like, when, like when you're driving, okay, and you're asking for, that, for directions. And it's kind of funny because, you know, like black people, you know, when we give directions, we're like, yeah, you know, you got to go down there past the, the 7-Eleven and then, you know, a couple blocks straight, make a right at the McDonald's. And then um, after that, you know, you're going to pass Walmart, keep straight down. See, you know, we get like landmarks and stuff like that, okay? <laughs> so that's the kind of, that's the same thing you have to do, like when you're trading this pattern, you got to give yourself like landmarks, okay? Kind of kind of give you something that you will remember, okay? So this is this move that you can remember, this push, that pullback, that continuation, a lightning bolt, okay? Push, pullback, continuation, a lightning bolt, all right? So kind of think of it that way, like give yourself that landmark so you can um, be able to start identifying, turning your eyes to see that XAB, all right? Now, this level, like there's no there should be no questions asked at all because you know that this next level is your continuation okay once that a leg is broken you should know what you should be looking for now which is that c level so i'm just going to take my fibonacci extension take it from x to a x to a all the way back up to x and i'm looking for that one two seven two touch all right see we got that one two seven two touch right here bam one two seven two touch right there that's my c point all right it's valid because price did not close below that one four one four remember i told you last night it can go down and wick it but as long as price close doesn't close below it we're, we're good so we got that identified and what we're looking for right now is the completion of that move. The completion of that move is simple. Take my field from X all the way down to C, the entire move. And we're looking for that 78.6 um, to enter for a nice sell opportunity. Okay. And um, that is the D, the D point is where we enter the market. Let me clear my chart real quick. That D point is where we where we enter the market. And I also want to show you something because I just saw the RSI and it gave me like a, clip, a quick glimpse of, um, I, got a clip, uh, uh, I got a quick glimpse of some divergence. Like I didn't even, like you see how fast I spotted divergence? When I click my screen, it just popped up and boom, automatically my eye just picked up that divergence. That's how quick you have to be in the markets, okay? So let me delete this. My entry point is at that 78.6 right there. So um, that divergence is right here. So if you're looking at the market, um, was it divergence? No, it's not divergence, I lie. I was looking at this right here when I saw that. I was looking at this going up and this going down. So it kind of threw me off. But when I lined it up, it wasn't divergent. So X that out. But sometimes when you catch these on it moves, you'll be able to catch um, divergence in these markets uh, to pretty much help you out with, you know, more confirmation when you're trading. Uh, running 20 pips. No, nah, I don't change your stop loss at all on AUDJPY, I leave it. Cause it might come back up and smack your stop loss and then drop and you're gonna be pissed off because everybody else eating good and you are missing out. Uh, if I'm able to consistently recognize a pattern, is that when you can project the future? Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Uh, I like the lightning bolt reference. Yeah, definitely. Here, um, the lightning bolt reference is good. When the wick is above 1414 and the candle closes between the uh, 1272, 1414, where exactly 
you put it at the, the lowest point. So your RSI to confirm entry. No, you don't use RSI to confirm entry. You use RSI. Yo, what, what's going on over here? Hold on. Yo, this bad boy dropping, I think. Yo, TP1 was already hit, guys. You see how quick that happened? I think TP1 was hit, if I'm not mistaken. Damn. Yeah, that thing dropping nice. Sheesh. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, baby, keep dropping. So check this out, guys. AJ is dropping, TP1 hasn't hit yet. Go dropping too, 25 pips so far. Damn, I should have stayed in gold. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what happened with gold and why gold dropped. I'm about to, hold on, I'm about to post in this chat real quick. So check this out, guys. You saw how we had that news happen? Matter of fact, let's do this. So you guys, um, let's see. Hey, so you all saw how we had that news happen just now with AUD? You remember when price shot up to the upside, right? You see how price shot up to the upside and it hit our entry? Normally what happens with that when we have these harmonic patterns on our charts, what happens is price will push up to the upside, faking everybody out, like everybody was buying, 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 and then boom, it completed that harmonic pattern and it dropped. That makes sense? So you have to upside trigger. <laughs> Yo, what up? So yeah, you gotta you gotta be like that's why understanding harmonic patterns is very, very powerful, right? So you all should be in profit right now on this trade. Um and just let it play out. Like right now, I think that we should, you know, break this one hour uh trend line right here. And then once price breaks that one hour trend line, we could, you know, probably see a retest and then boom, continue to the downside. Also, I have another harmonic pattern right here as well. So check this out, guys. Check this out. So let me clear my drawing tool. Um, I actually have this drawn out right here. We have, um, matter of fact, the cipher pattern. So um, yeah, check this out. You got this potential move right here. This X to A, A to B, B to C. See, so push all the way down here to uh, to this level down here for our completion for D. So we could be catching the C leg of this harmonic pattern all the way down to the D leg. And once price get down to this level, we could potentially buy it to the upside. Um, should we stay in the cell? Yeah, definitely stay in the cell. I was about to say, look, yeah, it looks cypherish. Yeah, cypherish. Yeah, exactly. So we could be catching another harmonic pattern push to the downside. So. Again, while everybody was in a buy opportunity, guess what? Because we know better, we're looking for selling opportunities. Our sell opportunity was right here. Price push to the upside, boom, drop, caught that entire move to the downside. So guys, you just gotta be patient because everything after that that point is now out of our um, Euro, JP, Euro JPY, so pretty. I'm about to check out Euro JPY right now. Let's see, EUR, JPY.
Guys, if you're watching this right now, you are looking at a live trading session right now that I'm having um, through um, through my, my platform with iMarkets Live. If you guys want to get access to this, then shoot me a DM and we can uh, discuss further business. So, yo, um, Elmano, yeah, a AUDJPY is close to TP1. So this is what I have on um, EuroJPY. So price broke above this daily trend line right here, and I'm waiting for it to push to the upside. So you see how, how much patience you gotta have when you're trading? That's what's gonna help you stay consistent and make money. I'm not interested in trading this right now because right now I'm in the middle of no man's land. Yeah, it broke over above this resistance level right here. If I decide to enter this trade for a um, for an opportunity, then I'll be looking for a potential buy opportunity if price gets back above this um, this level right here, this daily trend line, which is this white line going across my screen right here that you see. And I'll put a small position and I'll ride it all the way up here to, the, uh, to this D level. And then I'm, I look for a potential sell because this is what I'm looking for, waiting for this pattern to complete right here. So um, yeah, so that's that. I'm gonna show you what happened on gold today, XAU USD to show you why I was in the sell opportunity, XAU, USD. Like I said, harmonics tend to set off, set the markets off and uh, make these pushes. So in this small little area right here, if I go down to a five minute chart, if I go down to a five minute chart, watch this, uh, gold still lit. Yeah, definitely, it's definitely lit. Guess who caught like this drop right here? I think that was about a hundred pip drop if I'm not mistaken. So let me go ahead and zoom into that chart real quick. So check this out. When I was looking at gold this morning, um, Elmana, were you on a call also this morning? And I was like, um, I'm, I'm in gold for a sell. So we got this push right here, okay? AUD just smashed TP1. Nice, I told you guys. That's that's what's up. AUD for the sell, nice. So yeah, this level of resistance right here, down to this level of support. I just want to fill these two levels out and see. I want to see what that retracement level gives me. So if I go ahead and take my fill from that level, all the way down to this level, right? I just want to see what it gives me. And originally, um, I went from, because understand this, understand this, okay? All of this data right here, hold on, let me do this, matter of fact. ADJPY just smashed TP1. That's dope. All right, so let's start right here. Let me let me clean this up. So I don't want y'all to see all of that data to the right because that's irrelevant right now. So all I saw on this pattern was um let's see. Was this move right here? Okay. I took out this move from from here's my X point, my A point. I just filled these levels out to see what this level right here would give me, okay? This level gave me, what, a 50% retracement. What should I be looking for, guys, based off of that move? Who can tell me what I should be looking for? Bat, bat, cypher, bat. Yeah, exactly, the bat, okay? So I, I was like, cool, I have my bat pattern if i see price push up here to this 88.6 level then guess what i'm a seller if i see price push up to this level right here then i'm i'm, I'm looking to sell the market i'm looking to sell it if it pushes up to this level okay so let's play it out and see what happened this is my c point right here so now i have one i have one two three four confirmations all right four confirmations and now i just have to be patient and wait and see what the market is going to do from that point so let's go ahead on and play this out. 
I'm going to put a trend line at that at that 88.6 level because this is where I have my pendant order set right here. I'm just going to put it just a little little bit in front, kind of front around that order. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit play and I'm just going to be patient. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to sleep. Not right now, but that's what I was thinking last night. I'm going to go to sleep and just wake up um, in profit, put my stop loss up here above this 11.3 level so I can protect myself in the market. And then if uh, price come down, it, come up here and grab my order, then we're looking for a potential um, sell opportunity, X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D, complete at 88.6. So let's see what happens. So right now, just playing around, playing around. Let me delete this. So we know this white line is my 88.6 level right here where I'm looking for the market to sell. And once price hit that, that area, then I am a seller. Even though it's doing all of this consolidating over here to the left and, and playing around, that's perfectly fine. As long as price doesn't break below this, um, this, uh, this A leg, it's still within this structure, so we're still good. Now it look like it's starting to push to the upside. Still playing around, still playing around. And all I'm doing is waiting for price to push up to that um to that white trend line before I look for a sell opportunity. Because I know I did all the work. I identified this impulse leg. I identified everything, okay? Everything that I need, boom, it shot up there. It shot up. To grab my order. Still playing, still pushing before it only don't doesn't want to make a move right now. Still playing around. And now it looks like it's about to probably drop from this point. Yeah, I'm going to show you the take profit too for AUD JPY in a little bit. I'm, I'm going to go back to AUD JPY after this, but this is why that sell opportunity happened on um, AU, I'm sorry, on gold, because this harmonic pattern played out. Boom, right there. Price went up there, grab my order right here. Grab my order and watch what happens after that. It grabbed my order, hit that, hit my trend line where I, my, my, pending, my pending limit, my uh, sell limit that I was currently in. And from that point, it's going to drop. See, all of this right here is psychology right here. When price came up, and see, boom, price started to drop. See, when price came up here, danced around my order, all of this right here is all psychology. And the next thing you know, it grabbed my order, then boom, dropped to the downside. So that's why it's important to um, stick to, you know, a trading plan and, you know, follow, uh, follow, follow the rules and everything when it comes to trading. So um, so yeah, if you would have caught this move right here, let's see how many pips that I went for. And we still, and gold is still bearish. It went for um, 90, let's say 90 pips, okay? It went for 90 pips. Guys, with a 10 cent lot size, you would have made $90 off of that trade.
imagine finding setups like this that happens, you know, at least five times a week or five times a month. That's an extra $500 right there in your bank account, depending on uh, your lot size. Because if you had a, a standard lot size on there, which is a dollar in layman terms, you would have made um, $900 just off of that, that one move right here. And guess what? Guess when this happened? This right here happened when I was asleep. I identified the, 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 the pattern and simply executed. And from that point, um, pending orders or set alerts on call levels on trading view. Yeah, just go ahead on session pending orders. Do they work on four hour time frames? Yes, they work on every single time frame. You see, I'm on a five minute time chart right now. And you can see how many pips I caught off this one move on a five minute time chart. Um, let's go back to AUD JPY because we are currently AUD JPY. Let's see what they're doing over there. Damn, it's still dropping. Look at that. Check that out. This is our entry point right here, and the market dropped right there. Sheesh. Guys, if you all took, if you all made profits on that, go ahead on and uh, hat, uh, drop beast ass traders in the comment section. If you all made profits on that, drop beast ass traders on there. Because this right here was major fake out with news. You guys made profit, drop beast ass traders. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, let's let people know what time it is, all right? So this right here, like I say, like you when you guys train your eyes to see these different type of movements. Then, matter of fact, let me see something. Let me see something real quick. I'm going to see what this right here gives us. Let me go to a one hour time chart real quick. All right, check this out. Based off this one hour time chart right here, you see how price came up here and rejected out of that 1414 level? Guys, this is what I mean by price can go up and wick past the 1414 level as long as the actual candle doesn't close. Uh, let me change this real quick so you all can see. As long as the actual candle doesn't close above the 1414 level, we still have a valid pattern, all right? This is a valid C leg. Now, check this out. Now that we have that identified, guys, I kind of have a great idea where price is going to move next, where we can look for our next opportunity to enter this market for a potential, uh, for a potential buy opportunity. All right? When I told you guys I'm in sync with the market and that's how you all should be as well. We're going to look to um, uh, enter the market at this 78.6 level right here. So when I tell you guys these patterns happen back to back to back, you just have to be in flow with the market. It's kind of like a basketball player, right? A basketball player when they in flow with the game. And look where, look where price is going to fall right into. This yellow trend line is my four-hour trend line, this four-hour trend line right here. And it lines up with that 78.6. So we can see price potentially push down to the downside. And then I'll be, I'll be looking to, uh, for a buying opportunity and ride this market back to the upside. So you see how simple that this all can be when you're trading? But definitely go back and watch my recorded session um, right here. Like I say, just come here to the um, comment session right here and watch my recorded sessions and you all will be able to get access and just study up, like focus on studying. Like I promise you guys, you, you'll catch on and just start um, killing the markets like, like I kill it. But yeah, anybody got any questions so far?
if I got any questions. Um, will it hit TP2? That's the thing. You just right now you can you can just like just be patient, really. Um, target two is let me grab target two again. Target two is right here. Um, seven, seven, eight point seven fifty. I think that's where I said target two was, if I'm not mistaken. So we could see price, um, you know, kind of stall out, slow down a little bit, you know, and then make his way to the downside and hit target two. But target one was smacked. So you just have to be patient and just let the market come to us and don't try to force anything. Like I say, I always say everything that happens after we identify this move, um, after we identify this, this move right here, everything that happens after our entry point, which is right here, is all out of our control. And we just have to be patient and just wait for the market to do what it's supposed to do. This is target one and this is target two, okay? Target one, target two. So we just have to be patient and just let the market, let it play out. You know, when you start, when you start thinking too much, because you don't want to give yourself too much room to think, check out GBPJPY and GBPNZD. I'll check it out. When you give yourself, like when you trade in this, you don't want to give yourself too much room to think, okay? You want to follow the rules and, and let the rules um, work, in, uh, work in your favor. When you start thinking too much and you start giving yourself every opportunity to exit trades and you start giving yourself reasons to, um, uh, to, to start like messing up in the market. So just free your mind, throw some music on and um, do what you gotta do. I'm still here. I'm just uh, um, monitoring my monitor, uh, monitoring my trade right now. Can I get access to your Telegram group, B slash Traders? Ha, uh, maybe. <laughs> I might drop it. I don't know. I want to work. I want to work with a small group of individuals and then build them up and then add and open up the gates for new a new group of individuals. Build them up and then slowly do it that way. So check this out. This is the before picture right here that you all see, and this is the after picture. Pretty, right? Um, I'm gonna check out GPJPY real quick. Do you believe in twin trading? Yeah, I mean, I don't know what twin trading is, but I, I kind of have an idea. You just open up two positions. So you can, you can have one position uh, pushing down a TP1 and your second position, you can leave it open for TP2. On GBP, JPY. Uh, GBP, JPY push back down to this level right here and retest this, then I'll be looking for a buy opportunity. So this is that harmonic pattern that we had on GBP, JPY last week. And um, you can see how price pushed it upside. You see how, and this was taken off of the 15 minute chart right here. 
And you can see, like I say, how harmonic patterns tend to set off, and this is a cipher pattern, tend to set off these different moves, GBP, NZD. So GBP, NZD, uh, we could be looking for a potential sell opportunity um, based off of price right now is coming back up into this this uh this nice zone right here this yellow four hour trend line right here that we have going across the chart price might come back up here and hit that yellow trend line and then probably push to the downside or again if it, if it, you get a nice strong bullish candle to break that wait for it retest and then buy it to buy it to the upside but i was able to catch this move right here price broke it Came here and retest that uh, this daily level of uh, support, and then took off for about where it's currently sitting right now. And this is why I say, like, do your support and resistance. Like, harmonics are not the only thing that I know when it comes to trading. It's like 200 pip move. Like, I rather know it and not need it than need it and not know it. Okay, it's like playing basketball. I, I know these different moves and stuff like that, but when it's time, when it's crunch time, I need to put points on the board. Then I have my go-to move. Like, I know what I should be doing. But if I'm just in the game and, you know, um, just taking what the defense give me, then, you know, I just go with the flow. But when it's crunch time, okay, cool. I got to get a little bit more aggressive and do my thing. Harmonics is when I get aggressive and I do my thing. This right here is simple support, resistance, break, retest, continuation type stuff. So that's why it's good to – like I say, I know stuff about trading, but I don't know everything about trading. I just know harmonics. That's like my my bread and butter. And that should be you all's bread and butter as well. Um, coming out of these sessions, you all seeing how powerful these um, these patterns are. Um, EU, um, I'll check that out in a minute. But yeah, I'm glad y'all were able to uh, witness this live right here. I didn't think that um, I didn't think that ADJPY was going to um, reject out of that zone as fast as it did, but you all can see how that tends to happen, right? Price will, you know, stall out, boom, fake everybody out, get everybody buying, 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 and guess what? Boom, it dropped. Like, it got out of that zone real quick. And this is, like I say, this is my next setup right here so i had this gartley pattern right here i was really hoping i got this move right here this gartley pattern bam right there so i can buy it all the way to the upside take my profit and then sell it all the way back down that's what i was really hoping but like i say we didn't get that push to the downside which is perfectly fine you just have to adjust i got this bigger pattern right here price shot up do the news fake faked everybody out I can't tell you how many people were, you know, in this right here for a buy and then boom. Next thing you know, gotcha, boom, dropped on them. So, USD Chuff, like if you tell me to check a trade, like, like I don't like, what's your reason for me to check these trades? I'm just saying check it just to check it. Matter of fact, um, my my guy El Mono, he was in this trade right here. Yo, El Mono, when did you get in this trade? Matter of fact, let me uh I'm about to unmute you, bro. Let me unmute El Mono. Yo, E, what's up? Hold on, man. Hey, when'd you get in USD Chef? Hello? I don't know why it's not letting me unmute you, bro. Hold on. I'm trying to unmute you right now. Now, somebody else is loud in the background. Yo, E. Hold on. Candy. 
Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? When did you get in USC Chef? I got in USC Chef last Thursday, and I just closed out up 250 pips on it. Nice. Right, so you got in like around here, right? I got in right there, the tip top of that of that move. It was the 886 of my Gartley pattern. Nice. So he called a Gartley pattern. What time frame you called it off of? The uh, one hour. Okay, cool. Yeah, so he called a Gartley pattern and uh, caught this entire drop right here to the downside. He was posting yeah. his, uh, his profits and stuff in the, in, the, in the chart. Hey, how long it took you to learn how to master that? It took me a while, man, but I took your advice. And what I did was I mastered one pattern. That's why I always put the Gartley guy because the Gartley is my pattern. I took my time and mastered that pattern and then moved on to another one. So you think it's safe to say that instead of trying to learn every pattern, it's great to just master one. Oh, yeah, because once, once you master that one, you start to see it like crazy. You start to see it everywhere. Like people say, when you want something, like a car, you start seeing it everywhere. When you see that pattern one time, you master it, you start seeing that pattern everywhere. Yep. And also, the Garley pattern is shaped like this, for example. Okay? You got the X leg, you have your A leg, you have your B point, and you have your C point. Okay? Now, Elmano, you started getting good, right? Were you just yeah. waiting for the decompletion, or were you catching the moves within the harmonic pattern? I was catching the moves from I was setting up, I was setting up from my B to C and entering on the C, riding down the D. So he would catch his he would set up his harmonic pattern, and he would catch it from the C leg and ride it all the way down to his D completion because he 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 mastered the harmonic pattern, and once it got to that D completion, guess what he did? He took profits from the sale going to the downside because he knew where his exit point was. And guess what he did? He bought it back up. So that's what's going to happen when you start mastering one pattern because that's what happens when we do the cipher pattern. Um, uh, I got a couple guys that are killing it. You know, uh, Justin, for example, Lamarck, they killing it, you know, catching it from that C leg all the way down to that D point. And then once they get to that D point, then they are – catching that move all the way back up and, and catching the real move. So that's why we say it's important to focus on one thing. Uh, appreciate that, Elmano, but no guys, problem, bro. definitely focus on one thing. And I promise you guys, you will start um, being able to, you know, see these different movements in the markets. So looking at this right here, uh, USC Chef, I want to see what this right here gives me, okay? I'm going to fill out this level and this level, see what it gives me. And it doesn't give me a 38.2, okay? It doesn't give me that 38.2. You know why I looked at that level? Um, hold on. This is why I looked at that, that level. Is because I immediately saw I immediately saw that lightning bolt. That's what I saw. And I was like, okay, cool. Let me grab my fib and see what this is and see what this moves give me. But it did not give me that 38.2 level. Okay. Same thing with this right here. From here, back here to here. I know that this level right here is too deep. It looked like it might be a 61.8. Yep, boom, 61.8. And when you start training your eye to see these patterns, then you, sometimes you don't even need, need your Fibonacci tool because you just recognize it. But on USC Chef, if price does come back up and um, retest this uh, this yellow trend line right here, then I'm looking to sell it because this is my, my four-hour four um, level of support, 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 support. Um, resistance, resistance, boom, resistance, drop. So that's what I'll be looking for right there on that for a continuation to the downside. And USD Chef is you if USD Chef is going down, that means USD a uh, Euro USD is going up. So guys, go ahead on and share that um, hashtag Beastash Traders on your Instagram stories. Um, you know, let people know that. That, that you have something that's going on, life changing. Um, 
yeah, share that hashtag, b slash traders, and I'll see you guys um, on the next session. I'm going to drop the recording in the chat, but make sure you guys come back here and really study this move, this um, uh, this video right here, which is a cipher pattern. Promise you guys, um, uh, rock with me for um, just rock with me. I'm, I'm gonna get you guys right. Like seriously, study up, and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.